I don't want you to die either, brother. God bless. As you see, guys, I'm down here on the east side of Vancouver, and I'm eventually going to be interviewing a new talent in Vancouver, and the artist's name is Gato. So here we are on the east side doing our thing, dealing with the different elements that we have to deal with, but Lord is with us, and we got this. Country hat music. Somehow this makes sense to me, but like, if you turn on a DJ Premier beat and you just let it play, that's my zone. Okay. Right. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense to you. Oh, no, totally, man. On totally. the hip hop side of things, you know. Mhm. Mm Good for you. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. So, um, was making music always your dream? Was it always something that you wanted to do from a young age, or? It was less less of a dream and more so something that I do. Yeah, I never wanted. I never looked at it like a career or a job or something that would be bound. It's something that literally takes uh, takes someone who's maybe stuck into something and sets them free. You can't put bars on that to me. Yes. So it's not a job and it's not a it's not a dream. It's just something that is part of life. All right, right. Yeah. And who are your inspirations to do that part of life? I look up to a few people. Yeah, I look up to a few people. Uh, musically, musically, e even in different genres. Scarface, 1994, The Diaries album, amazing. And so much of his other work, but it's diverse. Like, I, I don't hate on anybody and I don't discriminate. Like, I love that from the old older, older era and then like I'm super down with the locks right. Styles P, Jada, Sheik Looch like even today I'm, I'm bumping those are relevant to me um, and I, I go into other genres too okay. this artist Intense you're doing dance hall and uh, like amazing you can tell he's really living it and I think that's more than anything what I what I look up to is not someone who's trying to do something, but someone who's authentically showing who they are and putting their life into music. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. So, through the grapevine, I hear that you like giving advice to people. You like telling your friends. <laughs> what, uh, what are some of the things you do you help your friends out with? I think in a... <laughs> I mean, I don't even think that, maybe they like the advice, maybe they don't. I know they appreciate it. So I think what it is, is uh, I've been told that I'm a little stubborn. <laughs> so <laughs> I've figured things out along, yeah. like I've figured things out the hard way in a lot of situations. And now from the other side of the fence, when I see somebody going through 
something that I'm like, hey, I know how we can fix that solution. It's not really, it's me just trying to help, you know, by giving solutions. That's not, not ego. That's literally from a good place, me trying to help. And then that's why a lot of, a lot of people around me and the circle are just loyal because I share that same love, you know, it, it's really, it's love. It's hardly even advice. It's me showing love. And you know, that's why everything is kind of coming together Amen. the way it goes. Sounds that's good. our responsibility, right? right? As men, as um, leaders, right. it's our duty to share that knowledge and not oppress people, but to actually bring people up right. with you and together. Right, right. And do you think that's what your music does? I hope so. So the controversy is going on in Toronto, like the, the battles going between Toronto and Chicago. Do you have any thoughts on that? You know, when people have uh, differences, like you just heard how my mentality is a little different, where I'm always looking to um, find solutions and, and, and create an atmosphere where people can, can grow. But if people have a beef and it's not mine, then I don't really look at it. I don't pay any attention to it. Right. Um, um, I definitely like to mind my business and uh, not speak on things if it don't involve me. And, you know. I got you. Yeah. I got you. Um, let's see another question here with the um, who do you credit your success so far as far as you've gone so far? Who would you say to be? <clears throat> Few people. I have. I have some some friends and some, uh, they're not, not friends, they're brothers, you know, and so I got some big brothers, you know, that are not blood, but um, I, pay, I pay my respect, you know, and um, I give thanks, I give thanks to the people that have helped me out and I've prayed hard and I know that, for instance, um, there are situations out of my control where God has intervened and placed people or, um, even myself um, to step up to the plate and it was patience and persistence to be at where I'm at today is a blessing but it's like it's not exclusive it's it's like there's there's room right yeah so I, I, I give thanks to the people who came before me paved the way and I was blessed to align with certain people um, pure for example yes to when, when the paths come together and they're going in a direction um, I can give thanks for that uh, help along the way, right. but yeah, more than anything, I guess God, because there's been some obstacles that you should just should shouldn't make it past, and we're here. Right, <laughs> right, right, right. Well, I don't, I don't want to make this into a religious show, mm. or, 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 or you know, be too much on it. But how much do you think your religion plays in your music and in your life? Faith is everything, and it doesn't matter if that if you want to look at that like religion. Everybody's got faith, and they use it every day. Like from the basic things, you hit the switch, you have faith that lights coming on. You know, so we all express that, and so faith is a big part of my life. It's hope, and um, it doesn't matter like how low things got. For whatever reason, that hope was never broken; always was there, and just kept fighting. So. Um, I wouldn't say I'm a religious person, but I'm definitely a man of faith. All right. All right. Then. So uh, one last question I would have for you is, what is one thing you would like to tell, one thing that's dear to you that you would like to have your fans or friends or audience or anybody to know about you, about Gato? Who are you? That you can you can you can be yourself, and that there's a there's a calling in your life that's unique to you, and that you don't gotta try to be like that person who's fitting in or something because you can create your own lane, and um, and if you're real to yourself, people are gonna respect that as opposed to maybe just seeing what you were liking on or putting followings and stuff like that. Like just be yourself, and uh, people will have more respect for that. And and in turn you'll yeah you'll be you'll get more respect in the long run for for being true to yourself. Awesome, good answer. Good answer. Thank you for having me on the Durrell Spotlight. Make sure you like and subscribe to Durrell Artwork.
Then I see the motive and they ain't notice that all of my fucking rhymes explosive I got no time for this bullshit, open your mind for a moment and get a dose of all these motherfucking rhymes You be quoting, remember I said it way back, I be getting paid back You get what you give, so it's just right that I make stacks 